Hiya, it's Ali here. I'm coming on today for Glitzcraft. I'm just popping on to do a quick one first to start a little series I'm going to be doing on backgrounds um, with uh, Glitzcraft products. Now, I'm going to be using backgrounds because that's what a lot of people have asked me how I do my backgrounds. So I'm going to do maybe four or five videos uh, on inking backgrounds and how I ink them and also using the Glitzcraft um, stencil pastes as well. Um, and I've actually got some beautiful brushes to share with you today from Glitzcraft. They've got their own um, range of brushes now. Um, and also they come on, well you get it in its bare um, way if you like. It's an MDF uh, kit and it comes in two pieces, well three pieces. You've got your top and bottom, your middle bit that holds it together and your little whirly gig on the bottom uh, so that you can actually... Um, whiz it round to your heart's content which I'm sure that gives a lot of satisfaction to some folk it did for me for a while um, and the brushes themselves are absolutely brilliant now I've used brushes I've got brushes I use uh, little finger daubers I use the um, domed brushes um, so I, I do use quite a lot of brushes now with these brushes the first thing I noticed was how compact and how dense um, those bristles were. They really really are um, really sort of thick and, and dense which means that when you pick up your ink you've got um, a lot of good ink in there um, and you don't have to keep reapplying like loads and loads and loads of times. And what I tend to do as well is with this set you can either have three, five or ten brushes um, and obviously you can get your stand for it as well. So I've gone for the 10 brushes um, because then I can kind of have one colour per brush uh, and not have to rub it off to change colours and, and what have you. So yeah, absolutely beautiful brushes and of course it's got the lovely Glitzcraft logo on the handle as well. So and they're really, really strong and um, they're bendable as well so that when you are using them they've got that ability to move with you um, and however you choose to do your inking whether you hold the top of the brush whether you use your finger whether you just do that you can do whatever it is that makes you feel comfortable what is it, whatever it is that you do normally uh, and they're really um, tough and durable so I'm going to just grab a piece of paper I've got a little I've, I've got a few backgrounds I'm going to play with um, and some combinations of um, oxide inks so I'm just going to have a look at some of these backgrounds I have absolutely loads of backgrounds and I haven't opened them all yet so I'm going to pick a, a couple that I've already opened um, but I have absolutely these are all from Glitzcraft every one of them all, all these backgrounds and they're absolutely superb prices so if you pop onto Glitzcraft um, onto their website and just pop in the search bar background stencils and the background stencils will pop up and you've got all these beautiful stencils there's just so much choice so much you can do with them and you can mix and match them as well with um, you know the floral stencils that uh, Leona has and incorporating the inking and the um, the glitter paste and you can do all sorts and that's what I'm hoping to just show you in this little series of videos that I'm going to do so that you can mix and match um, and you can create all sorts of things so the ones that are just open at the moment let's pop those two on the side and um, I've got like a lattice and then you've got your triangles probably can't see these very well but you'll see them in a minute the fish scales the honeycomb and the patterned one and then the knit row okay so I'll start off I'll use this little one here so I always tape down because it's easier and it's better than getting um, you know accidentally moving it so just the same as we tape down when we do the um, glitter paste in I also pop it down when I'm inking as well there's nothing worse than you get part way through and you move it and 
it's got to start again. So what I've got is a nice combination here of uh, oxides that I've looked at some different blends um, and I've picked a few out. So this one is fossilised amber, carved pumpkin and wild honey. So I'm just going to pop three brushes out of my pot and then I'm going to open my oxides and then I'm just going to brush and it just it just brushes really nicely normally what I would do is I'd have I have a little glass mat here to the side and usually I do this because I feel that it's better to take it up off the glass mat than it is to take it off the pad because sometimes you can ruin your pads constantly scrubbing them so that's just that's just me so then I rub it on and I give it a good good rubbing to get that colour into the bristles okay so that's all nicely in there and then I just start working on the stencil so what I'm going to do I'm going to do sort of like an ombre going that way okay so I'm just gently circular motions okay that's that one and then I'm going to go to the wild honey next because that's the next colour I could use the same brush because they're in the same family just wipe it off on a cloth but it doesn't matter and then again coming in from the side so just start circular motions onto the card and as you can see that lasted all the way along without having to go back and reapply the ink and that is one of the things that I love about these brushes because they can hold a lot of ink and if you give it a good you know because you've put it on the glass mats you can see when you are brushing it into you know when you're applying it onto your brush should I say okay and it stays in those bristles so again from the edge start gently going in a circular motion and applying it and again it's gone all the way to the end and then what I do is I grab my first colour so I'll just brush that in again and then I go back to the start and I go over it and that'll blend your first two colours together in that middle part and it'll also add to what you've already put on okay and then the third colour which is the carved pumpkin that's that darker one give that a good old brush in okay and again if you start in here off the edge of you know where the, the masking tape is just start doing your circular motions there and as you come in it's a much nicer um, blend into the project and as you can see again we had all that to do from there to there and I haven't had to go and reload my brush yet and that's the beauty okay and then from that I go back to my wild honey which is this one and then blend those two areas together okay so I, as I said they, they, these two could use the same brush um, but I'm not too worried about it so I'm going to lift this up and again you can use the same principle with the hinge at the top because if you feel like you want to go back in and blend um, any more you have already got it hinged and you don't have to kind of try realigning it so there you go 
isn't it absolutely beautiful so you can see the subtle differences only subtle but they are there and you can see that lovely blend and the stencil is absolutely beautiful okay so then something else that I do just to show you um, on some of the cards that I've made for example I'll just grab one where I have made this one I've actually done a different technique which I'm going to show you now and um, I've done the um, sort of like the waste ink so I'll just pop that to one side I'll show you some more cards in a minute so I'm going to grab a card the card I'm using is actually called uh, the other card from Clarity it's a new card that I've been introduced to um, but I have to say working with it is lovely it's a beautiful um, smooth card um, and the, basically you're blending it's like an absolute dream to blend with so all I do then to create that um, effect is I'm just going to fill my water bottle because Sorry about that, I hadn't had my water bottle filled. Right, so what I do then is with what's left on the stencil from what I've just previously blended, I give it a spritz, a good spritz, and then I just pop my card over the top and then I've just got a little brayer and I'll just brayer it. And that should just mop up what's underneath and it gives me that lovely sort of reverse so with the blending you get the inset of the uh, stencil and then when you do this one you get the negative of the stencil and that's what I've used to create this card okay so I'll leave those we'll leave that to dry and I obviously chop it up to create a project so that is that one and then I'll just do one more okay, let's wipe this up. I'll just do one more and I'll grab another blend of oxides so I'm going to do let's I don't do a lot of blues so I'm going to grab a couple of blues Okay, so we've got a, a lighter mid and a dark. Okay, so let's grab another sheet of card. Oopsie daisy. And we'll get a different stencil. So let's work with a lot of. I'm going to use the, the fish scales because we're using blue, it can be indicative of. Um, under the water and then what I'll probably do is um, I'm going to use I'll show you I'll do a little project in this video so what we want to do again is just pop the top on so the principles always the same tape it down get the right length <laughs> tape it down and then start your blending and it's a fabulous size of card is this as well because it's um, practically sort of card size and obviously the stencils are great um, as well so what I'm going to do with this this time is I only want a very light uh, touch so I'm just going to pop those on there Okay, now I'm going to use the lightest first and I'm going to do little she tells you what she's going to do and, and what she's done and she just started using the pad again beginning with the legs slapped right so I put them on the glass mat at the side so I'm going to use the lightest first so I'll pack that up okay and then I'm just going to, I only want this to be very, very subtle. So I'm not going to hold the brush like I did last time. I'm going to hold it a little bit further away. And then I'm just going to lightly 
blend that onto the card. Okay. Okay, then I'll grab another brush. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to lightly go over this because I don't want the actual background to kind of be the main feature on this if, if you like so I want it to be a little bit less and I'll show you how to just dampen that down in a minute so I just want to take a little bit of that darkness off there we go so if you look at what's happened here it doesn't matter, it's worked in my favour, but with the other brush that I used, it still had a little bit of that um, fossilised amber in, so it's kind of gone a, a bluey green, but that's okay because it's still um, alright for uh, an underwater scene. It's still the kind of the right colours. And then I'm just going to blend that first one in again. Okay. And then with this dark one on the end, I'm just going to gently, very, very gently, I do not want this being dark at all. Okay. So just, just on the edges, slightly. Okay. But because I want to go lighter in that sense a bit I do not want it to overtake and then back over all of it with the first one okay right so I'm going to take off the side pieces and then just do a lift and then we can see there we go that's lovely that's exactly what I wanted okay you can see that beautiful, absolutely beautiful blend there from the bluey green to the green, then even a little bit in here and then that darker blue, like so. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as the background. Now, I'm going to grab, I need to find my... There we go. So I've got a beautiful seahorse. Again, this is on at a beautiful price at the moment, so get yourself over to Glitz Craft. Um, a lot of the um, stencils that Leona creates, they will be limited editions so that she'll do one run on them. And then... Um, if they're very very popular obviously they'll stay online but if they're not as popular because obviously um, you can't keep a, a huge stock of everything she'd have millions and millions literally um, well thousands and thousands okay I won't exaggerate but um, thousands and thousands of stencils that aren't being um, you know utilized because she's done a massive run on them um, so there will be limited editions um until they're gone so get yourself over and get yourself some lovely stencils now i'm just uh, going to look i'm going to find i've got a sea green paste and i've got the lovely light green paste so that's those two and then i'm going to incorporate um some blue lilac so that's your three colours that I'm going to use on this stencil. So we've got blue lilac, which is the glitter frosting paste. That's the rapid drying one. Well, they're all rapid drying, sorry. Um, you've got your light green glitter paste and your sea green glitter paste. So it's all they're all the frosting pastes. Okay, they're all. I don't know why I said that. They're all rapid drying. <laughs> Right, talking too much, that's what it is for a Saturday morning. So what I'm going to do, 
obviously this is absolutely perfect for this project because it's indicative of mermaids or fish scales so I'm going to pop the beautiful little seahorse there just making sure I've got him straight and then as always I'm going to pop on the tape okay so all I'm going to do there's going to be no particular rhyme or reason I'm not doing a specific thing I'm just literally going to coat over um, and make a, an ombre an ombre effect so I'm going to start plunk it down like so okay so pop that back in I'm just going to grab a tea towel, oh, tea towel some tissue paper wipe that off okay then I'm going to grab the sea green again it's a tiny bit on the end of your scal scalpel on the end of your palette knife scalpel it's a new one and then pop that down like so and then you can kind of go over a little bit it's just like buttering your toast if you can butter toast you can absolutely do this it's not a problem at all okay and then anything that's left which invariably there is because I always take a little bit too much out pop it on and again just wipe it off if you wipe it off straight away you've absolutely no problems and then so the green so I've got the light green just to finish off at the bottom so tiny bit she says tiny and then just finish what hasn't been added into just like so and then you can just pop a bit over like that and again you really do take out way more than you, well I do anyway way more than you need okay and as always start by taking your side bits off and then just check that you don't need to add anywhere that you've missed so I'm just going to lift that up absolutely beautiful I'm just going to take this off and I'm going to pop it into my water so bear with me one second while well, I just pop it into some water pop that into the water and then you've got absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so then to finish that off I'm just going to create um, a little card and I'll be back I won't be a minute and there we go a lovely little card using the fish scale background and the um, seahorse stencil from Glitzcraft so I hope you enjoyed that and I'm going to be popping back on um, once or twice a week with a video um, if not more just in this series to show you how to do some backgrounds absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love that I think it's come out so lovely Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video really soon. Bye!